<laughs> Shut up. I absolutely love that helmet, but in red. I'm totally investing in one of those. I've got, I've got the F70, but... I got this... This one, and the gold one. Yep. And that one. Hell yeah. Silver. Hell yeah. Because like in the desert stuff, helmets don't actually... Like they don't crash to wreck them. Yep. But when you headbutt the trees, it chips like the, oh, the clear wings, coating yeah. off it and then it, the scrutineering they're like oh you've had a big crash and it's like I actually haven't crashed in this helmet yeah yeah i'm gonna keep my head in it it's just, <laughs> it's just the trees yeah that's what i was just explaining to taylor about this new like with the safety stuff you know it's a pretty cool <laughs> like new feature for people that go out trial riding and we have like a massive dirt bike community in rockhampton yeah. like it's nuts so yeah we've got so many spots outside of rockhampton but most of them are outside of rockhampton yeah. And everybody just goes out, has a heap of fun. Yeah, right? it's great. I love it. I love Continue it. Continue on. Yeah, yeah. What's so. the hardest part about what you do? In the desert racing, it's like the organisation of it all. Because yep. a lot of the events, you're not based in one spot. So it's not like you've just got one base pit area and everyone's based there. Yeah. At a lot of the desert stuff, it's like spread along. So it's like... How many that. fellas do you have on your crew? Depends for each event. Don River isn't so bad because we don't need as many people there so there's only like six of us there this weekend but then at like Fink for myself there's like between 20 to 25 people. In this AMX store in Rockhampton yep. we have a range of fly gear, uh, we've got EBS, yep. um, Alpine Star, we've got a whole bunch of new things. Uh, Fox is coming in as well so but uh, yeah no we've got so much stuff over this way as well. We've got yep. your Arai helmets, uh, we've got your GTA 2s, HJCs, everything like that. Um, we've got heaps of accessories, uh, yeah, handlebars, parts. We've got everything. <laughs> so yeah, and we will gladly order in whatever, whatever you need. You need. Sweet, mate. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Cheers, guys. Cool. The car washes have fallen up again. It's, you know, you laugh about it, hundred at the time. Yeah. And always, because set up flat track, it always hurts. Your old man goes off and you drop into this. A quite a common occurrence. to the ground it follows the ground my nah, bike feels really good it's only on those Log big through. g's it's got no like strength that it just goes pop boom Nose wheelie like you weren't real tidy coming into here either. It was just like as soon as you backed off the bottle, doing this. that's what it does in the braking bumps. And you know, like at say Hatter, you know, like what I was explaining, yeah. unless you back off before them yeah. and then on the pegs, and like it's not enough support from the front, like accelerate.
Not rock and roll, motorbike, pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you, you're you recording. Oh, I'm so glad. We need to take the voices out and we'll do the funny thing. Oh, great. Just get pulled out of the It's come here. I've achieved everything I wanted. Is that what you want? Yeah. Straight out of the body gearbox, throw it on the ground. Yeah, those super kickers were. Best thing I've ever done with. Making yourself useful, are you, mate? Hey? You're making yourself useful. I think the wire's wrong. <laughs> had my hat a shock in it. Okay. Well, then I might just put a 68. Yeah, just go halfway. Yeah. 69. Ah, I'm sure, and through the week we felt quite confident. Worked a lot with Byron from Great for Motorsports to get the bike handling exactly how I wanted it. I felt really confident on the bike. Quite good speed, I believe. Um, yeah, and then to have a mechanical failure on day one, on lap one, I tried to keep pushing for lap two, but it just got worse and worse. And then in the end, I had to pull the pin and retire from the event, which was a really hard pill to swallow because two years in a row now, I've had really good speed and believe I've had speed to push for, for the podium, if not the victory. But for some reason or another, it just hasn't worked, and it's it it is really a hard pill to swallow, and it's a really big kick in the guts to me to, to not do it. Um, but it's just more more fuel in the belly to come back next year and to to go again and come back out swinging and try to try to get it on the podium and yeah to try to prove to everyone what I actually can do. Yeah, so Nick finished off day one in quite a good position for, for the little riding that he's done since since he's been out injured. Um, he was sitting in fourth quite comfortably. He was not doing anything silly yesterday. And then, um, yeah, we prepped his bike up, made sure everything was right last night on it. And then uh, today he didn't quite finish lap one. He actually crashed and now, yeah, ended in hospital. So hopefully he's all well and yeah. And I'd just like to thank all my major sponsors, e and I, AMX, STE, just everyone else in between that. You know, without you guys on board, we can't do this, and I really appreciate it, and I, I yeah, can't say thank you enough.